Hey, and welcome to Discart. Today we have a couple products that were sent in by Unikeep, a company that usually deals in making card cases and binders and storage solutions for different things that, that you may have around your house. In this case, they have one for the Nintendo Switch, as well as for Xbox games and their manuals. Let's take a look. First, I'm going to talk about the Nintendo Switch cartridge holder, and then later I'm going to talk about the Xbox game holder with the ability to hold the manuals as well. So that'd be later in the video. If that's what you're here for, you can skip ahead to that. So first things first, this is a Nintendo Switch cartridge holder. It holds 60 cartridges, and 60 cartridges is a lot of cartridges. Most people don't have that many games. It's going to come down to a very specific crowd that has that many games or intends to get that many games or maybe just wants a bunch of empty spots so that they can fill them as they go along. Essentially, this is a plastic case that opens at one point. It's not just the latch closing that closes this. You also have to click in all the edges and make sure it snaps shut. Inside the plastic case, there's a couple foam pads in there with these perfect cutouts for the Nintendo Switch cartridges. Each one of those cutouts is designed so that you can kind of stick a finger in there and grab out whatever cartridge you want to grab out. It's also really easy to put the cartridges in. So overall, the main duty of this item is is to kind of house and protect the cartridges. Whether you're putting this in your backpack or you're putting this on your shelf, it should be a good storage solution for that. Now I did a couple of little tests, nothing too scientific, but tapping on the edges of the case and kind of shaking it back and forth to see where the limits of this thing are because it is only foam that is holding these inside. And if that doesn't have enough pressure to really clamp onto the cartridges, they can fall out. After a couple tests, I found that if too moderate shaking, it can stay in there. Moderate shaking keeps those cartridges in spot and maybe they move a little bit and then when you do some heavy shaking on this or tapping on the edges, those cartridges do tend to occasionally fall out. It's not all of them falling out at once, but one or two cartridges will get loose in this case. So it's gonna be up to you kind of to decide whether or not that's right for you. If you're putting this on your shelf and this is just a storage solution on your shelf, it's probably gonna be okay. You're not gonna be shaking this, you're not gonna be tapping on the sides like a crazy man like I did, and it's gonna probably live up to what you need it to do. With that being said, the amount of cartridges that can fit in here and the maximum potential of value of those cartridges is kind of a big deal. That many cartridges turns into 3,600 US dollars. With tax, it's more than that, but let's say every game in there was 60 bucks, that's $3,600 that this case is designed to house. So it'll definitely be up to you whether you decide if it's okay for a cartridge to be falling out once in a while or if it's a good thing for your game room where you're not really jostling around that much. And the $3,600 thing kind of brings me to another point and that's the design on the outside of these cases. Now Unikeep is one of these companies that's making some really interesting ideas for the gaming sector. Lots of different storage ideas for cards and cartridges, for Game Boy cartridges. There's a lot of really cool stuff. The only thing that I really hope to see from them is kind of looking at the audience that they're trying to target. I think they're kind of stuck in this realm of thinking that these kinds of things are only for kids because a lot of the designs on the outside of these cartridge holders are really infantile. I think most of these designs would look right at home in a child's library or in a kid's room but definitely not for somebody who's like 30 plus collecting video games who's somebody who may actually have $3,600 worth of Nintendo Switch cartridges. That being said it's a very hard terrain to navigate when it comes to these kinds of things because you have people of all ages involved in video games. One solution that I've heard a lot of times even in the comments of my last Unikeep video was a lot of people were asking for one of these but let us design it. Let us put our own imagery into the outside of this. When it comes to putting all of these side by side I have a lot of these cases here kind of side by side for you to see none of them kind of line up with each other so you end up with this kind of mishmash of different colors and and designs on all of these different things it'd be really cool to kind of have an across the board style and the solution that was in my comments and the solution that I've heard in my discord and on Twitter to kind of fixing this thing was making it maybe adding a piece of plastic to the outside that you could insert your own imagery into there. You could print out pictures off your computer or you could design something and put it in there. So if I wanted to say, have a collection of these next to each other, I could have them all 
look exactly like one another, have it labeled the way I want to label it. There's no copyright issue with me putting stuff on it from Nintendo or from other companies. It kind of solves the entire thing. And maybe Unikeep can put their own designs in there with paper and kind of slide those in so that it's easier for them to sell this as like a completed product. But when we get it home, we can kind of insert our own and make our own design and make a really cool storage solution for our Nintendo Switch cartridges. And that's kind of across the board with most of these products that are for gaming. They just don't hit the mark when it comes to the design. They do hit the mark when it comes to utility. When it comes to the utility side of this, this is fantastic. I can take this with me places. I can get my cartridges out. I can have a huge variety of video games, though I wouldn't want to lose this anywhere that I went because it's a lot of money being lost. So overall with this case, I would say there's a couple things that Unikeep needs to work on. At the moment, this thing definitely works as a utility device. You know, maybe the design is not for you. Maybe it is for you. Maybe it hits the mark with you. For me, I feel like it would be great if it was kind of an open-ended thing that we could all kind of customize ourselves. But as far as I know, I think this is the only case out there that holds 60 different cartridges. Correct me down in the comments if you do know of another case that holds this many cartridges and in such a style way in just one book to open. I think it's pretty awesome and it's definitely admirable on Unikeep's end for kind of pursuing this gaming route and kind of editing and getting better at what they're doing. Now the next product that they sent me was this Xbox case for disc based games and their manuals. And this kind of is interesting to me because there's not a lot of solutions for manuals and storing them and, and kind of making them look good in the process. Now just like the Nintendo Switch case, this is the plastic design with the little latch that you close. Again, you kind of go around the outside to make sure it snaps in place and it's officially closed. Size-wise, it's about the same size as the Nintendo Switch case, just double thick. Now when it comes to the actual holdings of this, how many discs does it hold? It holds 10 different discs and 10 different manuals. There's also a little slot in there if you wanted to put a label for what the game is, but I kind of find that to be a little bit useless. I think it was just extra space they put there and made it open to people, so if they wanted to put something else in that little small space, they could. And overall, this is kind of that simple three ring binder design. You essentially have these little flaps in there that, that hold the disc or hold the manual, and you just slide them right in there. These are probably never gonna damage any of your stuff. It doesn't seem like there's anything obtrusive in there that's gonna cause any problems. It seems like the discs are gonna be very safe in here. I did shake this one too, and no discs slid out of the container, even being upside down. It seems like there's enough grippiness in there to kind of hang on to those discs, but also not damage them at the same time. And in the end, I'm not really sure what to think about this one. Again, I'm not sure about the design on the outside, though this one is much more clear of what is in the box as opposed to the Nintendo Switch case. But the case itself seems to be durable like the Nintendo Switch case. It's gonna hold up a long time. It's a plastic case that you can put on your shelf and be able to pull those discs out anytime you want. Now, I think the glaring issue with this one is that it just doesn't hold that many Xbox discs. I mean, it's holding 10 of them with the manuals. I mean, that essentially could be 20 discs in another case. It's also good to keep in mind Unikeep makes some great binders that I really recommend for both Xbox and Sony discs as well. You can have tons of discs in one case and I personally use those constantly because it's nice to have those discs ready to go right next to my TV so I can take one out and start playing it right away and switch games out easily. So this kind of fills this interesting void, this void for people who do want to have the manuals with it, but maybe not in the cases, or they don't have the cases to begin with and they just have the manuals and the disc. And I think that becomes kind of a very niche crowd of people. I may be wrong that a lot of people have those things or, or don't have those things, but it just seems kind of niche to me. So again, hats off to Unikeep for making a really interesting design, kind of targeting this very niche crowd of people. And I have to say, I think Unikeep's going the right direction, kind of picking out these weird niche fields to kind of grow their own audience and have people looking at them a little bit more. But thanks for coming and checking out the video today. This is what we do here. We find cool display ideas, storage solutions, you name it, for game rooms. Game Room Tours is out there. If you have a cool game room, you can send that in. There's a link in the description on how to do that. But I appreciate you coming by and checking it out today. If you like the video, please leave a like on it. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. But outside of that, just have a fantastic day and collect what you love.